Hello, Reconnect the Feeling friends. This week was about communication and specifically about prayer. And I didn't get to take part in the live and love. And I also haven't watched the replay, but I like the topic and it somehow moved something in me. So I thought I'd share a few thoughts. When I think about prayer first, that takes me back to my childhood. I was raised as a Protestant in Eastern Germany and the church surrounding this group of people, the way we were raised was quite open-minded and it was actually quite political. Um, and I grew to appreciate rituals and prayer for me back then was a conversation with God and in my mind God was something outside of me. I didn't think of an old man, I knew it wasn't an old man, but I thought of, let's say, an entity that is wise and all-encompassing and powerful and loving. So it did have a positive image, but it was me here talking to God there. And sometimes when I didn't know what to say, uh, these conversations, I used, I used the prayers that I had been taught. And until today, sometimes I pray those prayers because I love the ritual and I love how this ritual connects me with generations and generations of people who have been raised in the same way. And somehow that brings a peace and a sensation of connectedness to me. I think that many people have been and are in the search for God and for something bigger than them. And only much later I learned and I realized that that something bigger <laughs> is who we are and it's not something outside of us and not something that we can talk to in that um, sense of somebody talking and somebody listening. And so now prayer, I pray, but I would not use that word. Maybe I would say I contemplate, maybe I would say I meditate, maybe I would say I create. I guess the best word would be I receive. Because the form this, this prayer takes now as a connection with God, Source, the one which is who we are uh, it's a very different form i think that it can be wordless uh, it it it's actually when i slow down when this person and the actions slow down the mind slows down and I allow my awareness to, to receive whatever's there, whatever is really true for me and important for me. I connect with my instinct, my knowingness. Um, it's really much more about allowing, receiving. And that's something that can happen when I receive my creative process, when I receive my art. It's also something that can happen in nature and frequently for me happens in nature uh, because it's just this, the vibration of energy I receive under a tree or in a calm green place or near the water or when I just appreciate the beauty of nature. Um, it's so calming and so beautiful and it just facilitates this process of receiving my being, receiving me, receiving this small story within God, within source, within the one. So prayer is actually the process of becoming and being me, knowing me in this finite form and connecting with that and i love this creative process i love the calmness and the peace um, that this brings to me 
and the clarity about my next steps or what's important right now. So really, prayer has changed a lot and even to an extent that this word isn't quite what I would use. Thank you for choosing this thought-provoking topic for this week. I'm really curious to watch the LNL and to find out in which perspective Dr. Eric and Jillian talked about it and what you guys have to say about the topic. Thank you very much for listening and for spending this calm evening moment with me on my terrace. I've actually figured out how to light my terrace so that you can see me, not just hear me. Thank you for being with me and bye for now.